everyone, this is Gail, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach number 1036. And I'm going to share with you something that I learned at convention. It's a great technique to use to make your own backgrounds, and it's a marbled technique. Now, I'm going to be using a stamp set that I also got at convention, and we made this card with it. And uh, it's a beautiful card. But I'm going to do a different technique. I'm going to be using the same, same stamp set, but I'm going to be using a different technique. So I'm going to turn the camera down, and we'll get to work. Be okay, right back. Okay, here we are. And I am going to be using our uh, watercolor paper, which is called Color Splash Sheets. And it comes in a package. Um, here's the package. It comes with 20 sheets. They're the A2 size. So, um, you know, they're perfect for card fronts. I've trimmed these down to four by five and a quarter so that they can mount this on another uh, card base. And here I have a little plastic box full of water. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of our splashes and I'm going to use Cool Pool, Turbo Teal, Silver, and of course Sparkle Silk just for a little bit of sparkle. Sorry for the abrupt interruption. I had dog issues. And uh, for those of you that don't know, I have greyhounds and I'm also fostering one right now. And she can be a handful sometimes. But anyway, back to my card. And I see a little black something right there. So I got it out. But I'm going to take some of the Cool Pool first. Our Cool Pool Silk. And I love the silks. If you haven't used the silks, you're really missing out. And I'm going to put... Just touch the water. Where's the water? There it is with the silk. And I don't know if you can see or not, but it kind of blossomed out. And I'm going to use some Turbo Teal. And you kind of have to do this quickly because you don't want the silks to settle to the bottom. Oh, look at that. That really showed up. I might put a couple more of these. That's pretty. Okay, that's the Turbo Teal. And then here's the Silver. Of course, you can't see the Silver. But it is there. You can see it pushing the The blues around and I'm going to take um, I'm just going to take a pair of tweezers because that's what I happen to have here and just kind of stroke this a little bit just to marbleize it then I'm going to take my color splash paper and I'm just going to lay it on top and then pick it up and look at that background and I've got a bubble. It's okay. Let me do it again. I'm going to try to get two out of this. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Oh yeah, I did get two. I might even be able to get more than two. Isn't that pretty? See, I've got a small piece that's cut down a quarter of an inch smaller. Let me try that one. But every one of these is going to be different. Okay, it's getting a little lighter now because we pulled most of the silk colors out. But look at that. Doesn't that make a beautiful background? Now, I am going trying to put this aside somewhere where my dogs won't drink it. And I'm going to get out my heat gun, and I'm just going to dry this a little bit 
to just speed things up. Now I turned the camera off because I didn't think you would want to watch me blow dry paper, but I wanted to show you. You see, when it, the paper gets wet, it bows. But when you blow up with the heat gun to dry it, it if you, whichever direction it's bowed in, if you bow it in the opposite direction with the heat gun, it will flatten out. So there we go. So I think that is pretty well... That might have a little bit of water left in it. But I think they're dry enough for us to go on with. Now, what I'm going to do before I get started on anything else is I'm going to... Well, I can't put my water there because I need to get to my... to my spray box. I have kept one of my bloom boxes I designated it as a spray box and what I'm going to do is use this to apply my silks and that way the silks won't get all over me or my work surface. So in doing this I can put two in here and I think I will, well, let me start with the silver. I'm going to start with silver and just shake it up make sure you get all your glitter off the bottom or it's not glitter but your sparkle and I'm just going to alright that's the silver may as well go ahead and put some of this other on there too. The cool pool kind of disappeared a little bit so I'm going to put some cool pool silk on here. And of course I'm going to have to put sparkle silk because sparkle silk is just where it's all at. It is the most amazing look at it it's a clear well it's not clear it looks white when it's like this but it dries with just nothing but a sparkle there's really no color to it and it is amazing there so see all the spar all the overspray ended up in the box and it didn't end up on me or my work surface and I just keep it tucked over here at the end of my end of my desk so these are both still a little bit wet so I'm gonna let them sit just for a minute and let them dry and then I'll be right back Okay, I think that these have dried enough. And what I'm going to do, this is the one that had the bubbles on it. I don't know if you can see. But see, there's a bubble there, which is a white spot. And then another bubble over there, which is a white spot. And I think I'm going to just stamp um, somewhere strategically to cover up those spots. And I'm just going to get a... I've got this water, it's a work surface that I'm going to be using. It's actually a clear cutting mat. And I'm going to be using this for my um, gel, uh, gel press. But I'm also going to use it to not get ink on, the, on it. Well, I could just take it off now. I can do that. I don't really need... need this anymore but this is what I'm going to be using with my um, gel press so that'll be nice to have to be able to move it around with all right so what I'm going to do now is um, well actually first off I think I'm going to put it on the cool pool 
card base first and I think I will do this one I could do both but I only have one card base done no because I'm going to be stamping off never mind forget that I'll go ahead and stamp both of these at the same time so what I'm going to be doing because I want to put a sentiment on here and I'm going to be using this uh, Make-A-Wish although I don't think I'm going to be doing the Make-A-Wish I think I'm just going to be putting when the this is the stamp set we're going to be using and it says when you look at a field of dandelions you can either see a hundred weeds or a thousand wishes and I think I'm going to use just that on this other one I put Make-A-Wish on at the top and I may do that Maybe I'll put the Make-A-Wish on one and, this, and the Sentiment on the other. But because I'm doing that, I want to go ahead and put that on here first just to make sure that I have room for it. So I'm going to... I've already got them mounted on my clear blocks. And I'm going to use the black licorice just for the Sentiment. I could use the Turbo Teal, but I think I would rather just use the Black Licorice. So I'm going to put this here. Try to get this lined up straight. There you go. I shook it a little bit, so I messed up wishes, but that's okay. It's supposed to be homemade, right? And on the other one, I'm just going to do make a wish. Just line it up on my with my grid. I love our, grid, our acrylic blocks because I'm very challenged when it comes to stamping straight so I think on this one I'm just going to put make a wish there you go that one just says make a wish and let me get a baby wipe so I can wipe these off and then I will clean them with their True or color fusion stamp cleaner when I'm finished. Where'd the other one go? Here. This'll do a temporary clean until I can do the good clean with the others. So there's that. And then I'm going to I think I'm going to use some whipped cream in addition to the other. On, on this card, we embossed. And I could emboss with some white, but I think because of the watercolor background this time, I think the embossing, I just don't think it would look as good. So what I'm going to do, instead of embossing with the white embossing powder, I'm going to just use the whipped cream cardstock. So, let me, let's see, let me do the Turbo Teal first. I'm going to stamp it just to see. Yeah, I think, I think that color will work because there is Turbo Teal in the stamp, but I'm just going to stamp this a few times and I'm going to stamp off the paper a little bit it doesn't really stamp well on this watercolor paper I probably should have used whipped cream but that's alright I'm going to use 
my wet wipe to wipe this off till I can clean it. And then I've got this little one, which is one of the ones that's been blown off. And I'm going to put a couple of these. I'm going to put maybe two in this color. And maybe put two in this on this one. But I'm going to switch to Cool Pool. And put a couple more on here. And these will be a little bit lighter. In fact, you can hardly see them. Let's see, where am I going to put this? They're very faint. And then, I'm going to clean, make sure I clean this off. because I'm going to use the whipped cream. Actually, this is the smaller one. I may get the larger one. Let me look at this. See, there's three, three or four different sizes. And I think I will get the one that's a little bit larger. I hope it still fits on this little stamp. It does. But I'm going to use this in the white. Boy, that really is juicy. I think maybe I need to stamp this on a paper towel, get some of that ink off, because it's going to not do a sharp print. Okay, now I'm going to put some white. It doesn't show up very well. Let me try to put it on some of the blue. It's just kind of a ghost, which is fine. I kind of like that. And then the crowning element of this is going to be this stamp on the stem. And because it's so long and the stem is skinny, so it makes it difficult, I'm going to ink that up first and then come down the stem. And I'm just going to put this right in the center. And it doesn't really look like it's showing up very well, so I may have to emboss this. I was hoping it would. I'll just come in from the other side on this one. But because our whipped cream is pigment ink, it's going to hold... That's clear. Here's the white it's going to hold the ink. It's going to stay wet for a while and I'll be able to to emboss it. Sorry, I, for some reason I just couldn't seem to pour and talk at the same time. You ever have that problem? Now I will put this away when I'm finished. But now let me get the heat gun back out and do some embossing. I'm just straightening out this paper a little bit, heating it up a little bit before I turn the embossing gun on it.
There we go. I love to watch the embossing powder turn. Can you see it turning? I don't remember. One of these, I put it on the little white flowers, but I don't think it was this one. I think I put it on that one. I did. Okay, I'll let that cool a minute while I do this one. Now I'm going to turn these over. See, I thought I only see one of the little ones. I thought I stamped two on each one, but maybe I didn't. to wipe this off before I clean so it, the ink won't dry before I can get it clean. Although our True Fusion um, ink stamp cleaner will clean off dried ink. It's just amazing. But that white was really juicy. Okay, so I can put the whipped cream away. And put the black licorice away. Try to clean off some of this. Okay, so now I've got my cool pool card base. It's already folded. And I think I'm going to put this one on it. I'll mount this one again, but I'm going to pop it up. What does Richard say? When in doubt, pop it out. And I get my foam squares. Those are the little ones. I need the big ones. Well, medium. They're not big. And because this card is bowed, I'm going to put more on here than normal because I want it to stay flat on my card base. So I don't normally put this many on here, but I love our foam squares. They are so nice. And these are the medium. And they're very affordable. So let's see if this will help this to stay flat. But this is going to be one of those flat cards that won't be difficult to mail. I know they have the um, blue butterfly stamps that you can get at the post office. I believe they're 70 cents each. But from what I understand, I've never used them, but I've been reading a lot about them. They will kick out from the... Um, I want to say assembly line, but it's not really an assembly line, but they won't, um, they will kick out, and they won't go through the, uh, the automatic stamping machines and things, the postage machines, it kicks them out to be hand canceled, and that prevents a lot of your cards from being damaged, but a card like this, you won't need to do that, so let me just get this on here as straight as I can, like I say, I am challenged in this department but there you go isn't that a pretty card it just says make a wish so you can make this anything you could put make it a happy birthday you could make anything out of it and it's it's going to stay flat it looks like 
but there's our card for today and I, I just wanted to show you the background I love the background I'm going to do the same thing on this card I don't have a card base prepped for it yet but I will go ahead and at least put the squares on here got that one over a little bit too far but I hope you enjoy this project and you hope you try this background it is so much fun and if you've never tried our silks there are so many things you can do with the silks you can color with them they're water-based so you can put some on a stamp block on the clear side of a stamp block and use a pen a what you know a blending brush with water and just paint with it like you would watercolors there's like I said, there's just so much you can do with the silk. So you ought to give them a try. Plus, we've got something new to play with. We have the um, liquid colors that I played with at convention, but I haven't played with since we got home. But those are awesome. And here's one, the Catalina Splash. I'm, I might try this in, it's dye base, so I don't know how it would work in the water, but I might give these a try and see how they work. So hope you enjoyed that. These are our two fronts, and I will mount this one on a cool pool or maybe a turbo teal background for this one. So come back soon and we'll, be play, we'll play with something else, and hopefully we'll all learn something. So everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.